Hey everybody at Foothills Weather Network, Chief Meteorologist Chris White in McDowell County at the Emergency Operations Center. And as you can see, light traffic on the roadways here as Florence bears, bears down on the east coast and in just a day and a half will be impacting our weather. Now, see what we can we expect for here. Looking up the uh, latest model guidance and everything, it looks like really Saturday night to Tuesday morning is gonna be our main prime time event. If you had to narrow that down just a little further, go Sunday afternoon through Monday midday, that's when we're gonna get the wind and the rain. Now the winds are not gonna be this category two hurricane that's coming in to the coast. It's gonna be in much weaker form, but gusts of 40, 50, even some 60 mile per hour gusts, especially along those ridge tops on the eastern escarpment, uh, combined with the heavy rain threat that is coming in, uh, to this area. Five to ten inches of rainfall locally. Up on the mountain though, uh, we could see locally 15 inches of rainfall uh, across the state. There's even a two percent chance according to the Greenville Spartanburg Hydrological Office that some of this rainfall ra averages up to 20 inches across the northwestern parts of the county. That would be catastrophic to the flooding down on the foothills and then down along the Catawba River Basin from there. So we're, we're ready. You've got about another 24 hours to prepare if you're preparing still. You've got to rapid, uh, you've got to rush those preparations up uh, to get there. Now the one thing that uh, does stand out in my mind is with this amount of wind and rain coming in coupled together, we expect widespread power outages now all across Western North Carolina and South Carolina. And speaking with Duke Energy earlier, they're expecting the same impact as well. So be ready. Have a few extra days of non-perishable foods there and, and ready to uh, seek shelter and hunker down once the storm moves in. Again, it's nothing to panic over. It's simply something that you need to prepare for. And we, we just like with any storm, we, we always get through it. So for Foothills Weather Network, I'm Chief Meteorologist Chris White. We'll be live with you throughout the afternoon and through the event uh, as Florence bears down on Western North Carolina.